New era. New era. The Tibbs era. But most importantly, J. Ellis, it's the OB era. Mm-hmm. Because OB top, and we're not even going to get into the atrocious starting lineup. We'll get past that. Oh, we'll, no. We'll skip that for a second. <laughs> that wasn't even a highlight. Can I can I can I get my 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 Clyde statement off from <laughs> Ain't no stopping topping. Can Ain't I Ain't no stopping <laughs> topping. Because after a putrid start, and it's preseason, you know, Russ uh sloppy basketball, we expected it. it. It was definitely bad news bears out there for a good while. But uh Obi came in and gave him a spark. Gave the whole the whole second unit came in and gave mm-hmm. a spark. But uh Obi man, Obi man got some good looks in the post. We saw a nice yep. little two-man game with OB and Kev. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nice little baseline move by OB. Okay, mm-hmm. well, let's get it going, man. What would you think about OB's debut tonight? OB felt like a rookie vet. Yeah, he, he looked like a vet. He looked like a vet out there, for sure. Yeah. It was like he took one long three to start the game. That was, you know, it was a quick shot, but yeah. it was open. Yeah. But then he I just he just felt like he just gave the second unit purpose. Yeah. You know, he settled them down. He was able to run the offense through him. Uh he was able to post effectively. Yeah. He was able to pass, got some nice yeah, pass, like you said, to Knox, to DSJ. Nice passes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He did a little bit of everything. I love what I saw from time. Yeah. Man. Overall, the energy was good. We not we'll, we'll skip the defense for tonight. His first preseason game. Let's talk about the good things. We'll skip the defense. Yeah. Look, look at the difference between Obi and Randall. Look at the difference between Obi's spin move and Randall's spin move. Yeah. Look at the difference between how Obi looks for people and Randall doesn't look for people. This is why, know. even though the the right, I guess the regular thing to do is start Randall. We can see why us Knicks fans do not want Randall to start. Because look at the difference when someone actually looks for their teammates. Yeah, it's true. The, yeah. the, the game completely changes when he's in the game. Mm-hmm. He's an uber athlete. He's jumping around. He's flying around. He's doing all kind of wild stuff out there. Quick, you know quick what I'm saying? pass. So, As to me, he just has the ability to make everybody else around him better. Yeah. And I saw that from the rip, from the rip which is why I'm like, yo... He has, he has, he has to at some point start. Yeah, and I'm going to, I want to see how brave Tibbs is going to be if he gets to a point where Ob is rolling and he's scoring and he's diamond. And he's gonna go with the hot hand. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think he's gonna go to the hot hand. And um, again, without summer league, with the, you know, this is a very unorthodox season in terms of how they prepare. I don't think they just gonna just rush him out there. Now I think Randall is now that he's still here, they are gonna continue to keep him in the lineup and use him as a buffer. Let OB come along slowly. Let him get his legs. Let him get used to the game speed. There's no reason to just rush him out there just because we all want to see him out there developing. Right. No, that makes Tib- sense. Tibbs already told you he's ready. And he already yeah. gave him the vote of confidence, which from a coach like Tibbs, I think that's saying a lot. Yeah. So um, I think they I think they'll just bring him in slow and you know if he has the hot hand if he if he's going I think they'll they'll let him finish in, in yeah those cases. O- offensively he's there like offensively yeah yeah you just gotta clean up the the cross court passes that worked in college uh they were closing the gap on those cross court passes today yeah but, yeah yeah he's got to be careful you know NBA they're a lot taller longer arms you know yeah. they definitely got to be careful <laughs> but uh you know it's, he'll, he'll learn He'll, mm-hmm. he'll definitely learn. Uh, we, you saw some of, um, you know, his action, his, his passing ability at Dayton, where we kind of highlighted, and you kind of mm-hmm. saw some of that out there on the court. That that two man game that he had with Kev, that was a nice cross court pass, mm-hmm. moved well without the ball, found the yep. open space. Kev found him, and then he had the nice dunk. You know, so Obi, I think there's, there's a lot more to his game than just the dunks and the, and the highlight reels. I, I think he's a smart player, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's why I'm so excited. I, I, I'm just so ex- I'm so ex- I'm haven't been this excited about a draft pick in a, for the Knicks in a while, in a yeah. while. So I'm I'm happy to see that he's on our team. Can't wait to see what happens next, man. True, true story, true story.